Guten Morgen, good morning. Coffee? And then we need to make a plan of reversal when we are good, sir. Yeah. And then we do one or two years here when we are back. My name is Miroslav Petkov. I'm from the Black Sea coastal city of Varna in Bulgaria. And I'm a principal trumpet of the Royal Concertgebouw Orchestra. What is it like to play Mahler 7? I have to make sure that I'm uh, I'm technically fit and I feel good to be able to free myself from the technical side of a piece like this or a symphony like that or actually anything. For, for me, the, the first time was a bit uh, difficult to, to process. If we talk about the, the trumpet part, it's a very enjoyable one to, to play. Some uh, part of it as an excerpt and played in, in the orchestra is uh, dif different for me, the experience. And, and I think that's one of the great uh, advantages to get to know the whole piece, because you then very easily fit and you understand the idea behind it, which it was very nice. You feel you're on top of the world, you know? Oh, you want to play something? Yeah, let's do we can do the first one. This is huge. Yeah, it's like a page, you know. I try to listen to the rest, to not think of the trumpet or to, you know, to make sense of the music what I'm playing, on, of the style. Because when you understand the style, then you can also put your input, your idea, you can put it in a way that makes sense of what you're doing. And... Uh, we as classical musicians in the orchestra, we have to first show the idea that it's meant by the composer, and then we have this 30%, 20% of our own interpretation of things, which we makes a big difference, of course. But um, I just try to make sense of the whole music and uh, imagine things. Try to imagine what the composer imagined while, while doing it, or imagine something completely different and just try and see how it feels. <laughs> So what is it like to be a principal trumpet player? You have to be a leader, but you have to make people trust you. Sometimes you have to take decisions that are, you just go for it like that, and then you do it. Yeah, you have to be in control. Uh, the control is, uh, for me, is very important uh, aspect of our job be because for playing the trumpet, of course, and our job, but also communicating with the others, for, with our section, which where you make people trust you, or you sometimes just say, no, we do it that way. We have to go 100% on what we do. And that's why sometimes pe people, <laughs> you know, have to deal with that, because sometimes you get the role of leading the whole orchestra and everyone goes with you. Yeah, it's actually quite nice if you feel confident and if you know what you want to do. But it can be also stress stressful, as kind of you are expected also certain things. I played this piece not long ago 
for the first time here in, uh, in the orchestra. I listened to different, rec to different recordings. I tried to understand where the cues are, which instruments, because sometimes it's a bit too tricky to, to, to count. And I remember in the first rehearsal, it didn't go very well. Things went so fast and I was like, Whoa, what is going on? Then uh, that's what I meant, you know, some things you expect them to be one way, but then uh, they turn out to be some, something a bit different than what you expected. So, and then I really had to learn very well where I'm playing and what's happening bef before I play. That was for me the most important thing to prepare. So I know where, what, is, what is going on. Then it's also easier to make sense of the piece in the situation rather than just play an excerpt. So it was actually, it's a very nice uh, piece to play for a trumpet because they're beautiful lines. I'm very lucky to have a friend, uh, like a brother friend who we are sharing the job and we can inspire each other, challenge each other and uh, just help each other, you know? It's a great thing to have someone around you and uh, to have the environment to always get better and to always do your best while you have fun. And Omar, I'm happy to have him as a colleague and as a friend. Probably as a friend and as, and as a colleague. <laughs> Sometimes we play together in, in the orchestra and it's nice because you, you see he, okay, he's gonna drive, you know, like, and then everyone goes. And then when I listen in the hall, you know, sometimes he just goes for it. I admire that from him. It's a good quality. It's my, actually my first seed trumpet I ever had and I got it in Hamburg in the competition. And um, I'm so used to the ease of play and it projects easily also when you, when you play soft. I'm happy with the intonation, with the equal registers and with the, just with the beautiful sound. It's the Chicago one and I'm not going to change it anytime soon, so. <laughs>